Welcome back to AM Northwest. It started as an experiment, but soon became a crucial part of fighting crime. The Chicano Squad is a new documentary detailing how a group of six Mexican-American police rookies in Houston, Texas, were given an impossible task, solve all open Latino murder cases in just 90 days. There was one case I go out with an angle detector, and we went to the east end. It was a, a security guy that got killed in one of the warehouses out there. We're looking for this guy. He says, I'm looking for a guy named Flaco. The Hispanic people come in and say, we don't know no Flaco. He kept on asking, Flaco? Flaco? Nobody knew who Flaco was. It dawned on me. I said, oh my God, I said, he's trying to say Flaco, not Flaco. That's how lost the police were with the community. They couldn't communicate with these people. We welcome one of the squad's original members, former Houston police detective, Jose Silvera. Jose, good morning to you. By the way, you are looking very sharp. Thank you, ma'am. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. You know, speaking of looking sharp, that was one of the things that Chicano Squad wanted to do when they first started, right, was look good. Well, we're going to be professionals, ma'am. We um, you know, wanted to project pro professionalism, and I think we succeeded. Yes, you did. First of all, though, let's go back to the 70s and set the scene for our viewers. Well, back in 1979, August, uh, there was a rash of murders. We were the murder capital, and Houston, Texas had a, a lot of Hispanic murders that were going unsolved. And also that there weren't any uh, there there weren't any Latinos who were detectives at the time. There was a lot of racism going on. There was an Im immigrant community that didn't trust the police officers. So when you're given this task, the six of you is it six of you? Yeah, the group six of you go in. You, you kind of were, it was a daunting experiment, wasn't it? Yes, it was. We had to gain the trust of the community, and we did. We were able to communicate with the community. We came from the barrio ourselves, and uh, we understood the community. So in talking to the community, just being available, you were able to get people in the community to speak to you before they wouldn't speak. That's correct. That's correct. We won their trust, and before long, uh, the community was calling us with the information we needed to clear our cases. What do you think were the secrets to your success? Because you solved, what, 80% of the cases? Yes, we did solve 80% of the cases. Uh, we were proud of that. Uh, we were on the news every day. The media helped us a lot. They were putting the information out there that we were there, we were available, and we were able to communicate with our community. But you face racism in your own police department. Pardon me? You face racism in your own police department. Yes, but that's pretty much everywhere, ma'am. The positive thing is that uh, we all work together. Um, we won the trust of our fellow workers in homicide. Uh, they came to us, we went to them, uh, we shared information, and we were a success. How do you think you were able to get into the into the tight structure of the the Anglo police community, you know, and getting them to trust you? They saw the work we were doing. They saw that we were needed. Uh, I am lucky to have worked with one of the best police departments in the nation. They're highly trained, and we got a great men and women in our police department. I'm proud of them. You, um, when you look at what's going on today, Houston has its first Mexican-American police chief. How does that make you feel? Makes me feel darn proud, ma'am, to uh, never in my life uh, that I envisioned that we would see a Hispanic police chief, and we got four other police chiefs in the Houston Police Department that I've met. That's awesome. You also were awarded the, your gold detective badges that previously most of you had not received. Tell me about the meaning for that for you. Uh, about a week ago, uh, we were presented our gold badges that uh, had uh, eluded us for several years. <laughs> and how did that feel, though, to finally get those? How did your family feel? How did Houston feel? Oh, my family's proud of that. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be proud that one day my little grandchild is going to look back and say that was my grandfather that did that. 
Yeah, you change things. You change things for the be much better. We want to tell everyone that Chicano Squad two night special premieres Monday and Tuesday nights at nine o'clock on A and E. Jose, thank you so much, and thank you for the work you did. Thank you so much, ma'am. You have a great day. You too. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away.